Okay, hello everybody and welcome to the iRacing Global Challenge. It's week 6 at Road America. And as you can see, it's pretty huge as I have here. Uh, I know 9 out of 10 Cadillac drivers, and if I recognize those names, you can be sure that's pretty high as I have. Uh, I'm starting 4th. Wasn't actually a bad lap in qualifying, so with some corners I could have taken a bit better, but yeah, I'm pretty tired also because the 24 hours of Nürburgring uh, just ended 6 hours ago. I didn't sleep much, so. Looks perfectly fine driving such a future SRF race tired, but okay. Get ready, going green. The pace car is in. Let the pace car by. Had the position when the yellow flag came out. Green, green, green. Car right. Keep to the left. Clear. Oh, Andres found it for her. The Yorka, I don't know if you to pronounce that because sometimes you pronounce it that way and sometimes this way, so. But up the brief reverts, not bad. It's always going much slower through the king than I can. At the exact same issue in qualifying. Just have to hope for the guys behind me to battle and for me to being fast enough to stay with Gerardo and Raga.
Well, something seems to have happened to Andreas. Pretty big gap there from P4 to 6 now. So Scott doesn't have to look in his review mirror anymore. Which is bad news for us. Followed him a bit into the dirt there. Oh, that's got on right there. Got a bit too much of the dirt on the outside and spun into the inside wall. Yeah, at the front it's pretty much 9 tenths to 1 second the gaps. Not much changing right now. I have to say that the Orca is not driving really tidy. Catching the dirt quite often. That's exactly what I mean.
though it doesn't really hurt us, pay us down the strides. So. I guess it's just how it drives around this truck. the Apex. I'm doing that as I'm already falling a bit off pace. Two ten only, so that's not what I want to do. I think I caught the white line there. Under braking. Not a pleasant experience. So I guess my only chance is uh, both of them to fight if Darker can really pick up some pace and threaten Gerardo.
at the same rate go out to get through it and uh, I'm losing contact Just about one tenth for left, maybe two even now. It was also a bad luck from me, so. Our second gear isn't really working there. I'm just losing even more time without the draw. Four laps to go. I'm not playing a role anymore in the fight for the win. I was not just completely gave up on life. But at the front it seems to be the same thing as all season long that uh, the draft is just not strong enough to really give second place a chance to overtake if he's not much faster.
that's that's nice. Perfect management there from the clear. I think both of them do without any problems whatsoever. Right side. Clear on the right. I'm going to get distracted. Totally my own fault though. Ah, oh, come on. I got to admit at least my race is pretty anticlimactic. The grid was pretty tight in terms of qualifying times and now I'm just running alone four seconds to P2 and over ten seconds with the car behind so Went from a promising race to a good third place, I have to say that, but... Now it's pretty much just a fun day drive. The fight in behind me though. Another gear plane. Very nice here. That's exactly the opposite of what happened last week at Daytona. I couldn't upload that because uh, there was a Windows 10 update and messed up all my microphone settings again so. Sorry for not uploading that race, but uh, just horrible to listen to. So I hope you understand that, and I hope it's fixed now. Car on your way. Clear. But yeah, too. Uh, Come back to what I wanted to say. Uh, at Daytona, it was the last lap. I was right behind Gerardo. Uh, I was sitting there for the whole race, 25 minutes, just behind him, waiting for the last lap. And then some left guy compromised my line into the uh, bust of chicane. Uh, Gerardo could take the perfect racing line. I had to slow down to enter the corner on the inside and that didn't allow me to get the run I would have needed to win that race so ended up about one tenth short of the win there it's just if you're one lap behind on the last lap the leaders are coming up and you have nothing to fight with no one to fight with Why don't let them pass without any problems? They'll be thankful instead of being mad at you. 
And you're also do the same, so... Don't quite understand why you have to make it so difficult for the leaders to pass you, so... You're impeding one guy and hoping the other guy will help, so... I don't know. York is still not close enough into Canada corner. I just have to say both of them had a better pace. They did the 208 on qualifying, I couldn't. Alright, there's the kicker flag. And the dissolve goes there in front really of me. Well. Oh. I'm quite happy with P3. Pace well, was. Well, well, well. Oh, no, I'm not happy yet. Yeah. Pace was there, it wasn't more possible for me. I'm happy with that, and uh, again, I have no clue what we are driving next week, what track. So, it's gonna be a surprise for me. And I'll see you in a week then. Have some good days until then, and see ya.